late teens, early 20s, um, I started to get a real ambition um, to uh, to have money. Um, I'm, I mean, a lot of money, you know. Uh, I wanted to be successful and have the cars and the houses and all that type of thing. And so uh, I, I, I wanted to work for myself at some point. So I thought a good training ground is to go into sales. So I did and uh, I earned a lot of money. Um, I got a bit of a reputation. Um, people knew who I was. I was, I was really successful at it. Um, and you know when the when the nights out finished and the, the shopping sprees finished and stuff like that, it, I, I was just left feeling like a bit sort of, is that it type of thing. My wife one day she came to the Oakwood Centre and she started coming to church and uh, she didn't tell me at the time but she became a Christian. Um, and then started inviting me to church, and I was like, "No, I'm I'm not interested. Now you you do that if the, if that's what you want, that's fine. Don't bring me into it. Um, can we take? Can I bring my daughter? No, you're not brainwashing my daughter. You just leave us out of it and do your own thing. We'll be okay. So and that's how it continued for almost a year, really. Um, and then one day, um, I was uh, Julie had come to church on a Sunday. I was sat at home. And Abby had come in and she'd been playing dressy ups and she'd had a nice dress on and she'd brushed her hair. And, and I genuinely don't know why I said this, um, but I said, uh, I said, do you want to go and surprise your mum at church? The next thing I remember, the next thing I re remember was being stood at the back of the auditorium and I was looking at a room full of hundreds of people singing and praising God, full of joy. And I remember thinking, oh, these guys know something I don't know here. And I saw Julie at the front and I walked up and I tapped her on the shoulder and she turned around, she burst into tears. Because I was so close to the idea, all Julie had left was to pray. And I got excited because I saw a miracle that day when I walked in. I'd heard this um, thing that, uh, you know, whoever was preaching on the day would, uh, everyone would close their eyes and, you know, and if anybody, he would say, if anybody wants to know Jesus, you know, put your hand up and we'll come and help you. So, you know, to introduce you to him. And, and, and all the way through, I'm thinking, am I going to do it? No, I'm not ready. No, I need a bit more. I might do it. It feels right. It doesn't feel right. And I was got this chatter going on in my mind. And, and then he, he kind of, uh, uh, Martin was starting to wrap up and my heart was going, I'm thinking, here we go, he's going to say it, he's going to say it, what am I going to do? Um, and he didn't say it. Um, and I was gutted. And that told me that that's what I wanted. And my wife, Julie, spotted this. Um, she went and got Warren, my friend. And we sat quietly in the corner of the auditorium a little prayer and that was the day I met Jesus. Going back to the day that I walked in the church um, and I said that little prayer with my friend Warren, I remember what he said to me, he said, do you know what you're about to do? And I said, no. Uh, I, said, I, don't know. I said, I don't know how it's gonna change my life. I don't know what I'm gonna have to start doing. I don't know what I'm going to have to stop doing, I don't know where my life's going to go with this. But the one thing that I do know is that God is real, Jesus is real. Um, I don't know how I know it, but I do. And I remember saying, oh, I can't, I can't carry on the same way that I've been living, knowing that he's real. I said, I have to go this way, I have to follow him, I have to see what life is going to be like with Jesus. Um, how can I do anything else? Once I've realised he's real, how can I, how can I not go on um, with him? I've got to. Um, and, and that's still true to this day. Uh, he, he, he upholds me, he gives me strength, um, he gives me peace. Um, he gives me hope when, when situations seem hopeless. No matter how busy I get and no matter how far he can drift from my mind, I never drift from his. <laughs> 